Hello students, welcome back. So in Geometry for Cat series, we are going to continue our session on quadrilaterals and today we are going to learn a little bit more about trapezium. Now, in last class, we had learned basic properties of trapezium and how to find the area. Now, if we move forward from there, what we can say that if a trapezium A, B, C, D is such that AB is parallel to CD and if we join BD and CD, AC, the diagonals. So what can we say that as line AB is parallel to DC, if angle B will be equal to angle D, angle A, B, A, C will be equal to angle A, C, D. So one very important concept that we get here is triangle A, the intersection point is O, so A, O, B will be similar to triangle C, O, D. Or we can say that the side ratio which is A, B upon C, D, A, B upon C, D will be equal to O, A upon O, C which will be equal to O, B upon O, D. Okay. So let's say if this side length is A, this side length is B, so this will be equal to A by B. And in that case, we can also say that the ratio of area of this triangle, area of triangle AOB divided by area of triangle COD will be equal to square of the ratio of corresponding side lengths so it will be a by b whole square okay now think about this if i say that area of this triangle is a square x x is some constant then area of triangle cod will be b square x the ratio is a square upon b square in that case think about this the ratio of the side length ob is to od is a is to b so the area of the corresponding triangles, which is triangle AOP and triangle AOD will also be in the ratio of A is to B. So in that case, the area of triangle AOD will be ABX. And similarly, area of triangle BOC will also be ABX. So in any trapezium, these two triangles will be of equal area. Apart from this, we can also say that product of these two triangles which is AOD and BOC will be equal to product of the remaining two triangles which is AOB and COD. A square B square X square A square B square X square. Okay. So I hope this part is clear regarding trapezium. Now let's try a few questions based on this. First question says a trapezium ABCD with sides AB parallel to CD has diagonals intersecting at O. So first let's draw a trapezium ABCD where AB is parallel to CD. So A, B, C and D. The diagonals intersect at O. So this is O. Now it says area of the trapezium is 256 square units, 256 square units, length of AB is 6, this is 6, length of DC is 10. Find the area of the triangle AOD, AOD. Now what do we know? We know that if this area is X, this will also be X, right, right. Now, we know that AB is to DC is 3 is to 5. If AB is to DC is 3 is to 5, OB is to OD will also be 3 is to 5. So instead of taking X, if I take this as 5X, this will also be 5X. And in that case, this will be 3X, right? Now, can we say that what will be the area of this triangle DOC? So product of these two should also be product of these two. So product of these two is 25x square. So this will be 25 upon 3x square. Right. Now in that case if I add all the areas. Can we say it will be 5x plus 
3x plus 5x plus 25 by 3x not this is not x square this will only be x this is equal to 256 or if I take 3 so this will be 15 of uh, 10 plus 3 13 39 and 24 64 x upon 3 is equal to 256 64 into 4 is 256 or x is equal to 12 if x is 12 we need to find area of triangle AOD which is 5x area of triangle AOD which is equal to 5x if I put the value of x it will be 60 centimeter square all right so our answer is option D now next question says what is the length of the line segment that divides a non isosceles trapezium with parallel sides 3 centimeter and 21 centimeter into equal area trapezium so again let's say this is a b c and d so what is the length of the line segment that divides a non isosceles trapezium with parallel sides 3 and 21 into two equal area now in this case uh, a little bit of part is missing that line parallel to with parallel sides okay length of the line segment so let's say the line segment is this which is ef so we know that parallel sides a and b a a b and c d are parallel ef is also parallel to a b and c d okay as i said this part is missing what is the length of the line segment parallel to parallel sides okay that divides into two equal area means if this area is x this is also x and side length is given which is this is 3 and this is 21 so how do you find the length of ef right this is what we need to find length of ef now what we can do to solve this question is extend this line and join this somewhere here now can we say that if if this point is m <coughs> area of triangle amb let's say area of triangle amb is p can we say that the ratio of the parallel sides means ab upon cd is equal to 3 upon 21 which is equal to 1 by 7 so area of triangle amb is p then area of triangle whole dmc will be 7 square into p which is 49 p area of triangle adc divided by area of triangle amb will be square of the corresponding side ratio which is 49 upon 1 so can we say the area of this whole triangle adc will be 49 p this is p area of this quadrilateral and this quadrilateral is equal can we say that overall area of this quadrilateral a p c d will be 48 p so x will be 24 p this will also be 24 p that means we can say that area of triangle a e f divided by area of triangle a m p will be equal to this is 24 plus 1 25 p divided by p which is 25 upon 1 so the ratio of corresponding side lengths which is ef divided by ab will be square root of this which is 5 by 1 so if ab is 3 can we say ef will be equal to 15 and so our answer is option b all right this is 3 this is 21 so we need to find the area of the length of ef and that will be equal to 15 centimeter next in the given figure abcd is a trapezium line fe is parallel to ab <coughs> and dc so ab 
is parallel to Fe, which is parallel to CD. AB is equal to 4 cm, DC is equal to 12 cm. Find the length of the line DE. Now, can we say that in triangle DAB, AB is parallel, let's say this point is O. AB is parallel to FO. What is the side ratio? So, AB is to DC is 1 is to 3, right? AB is to DC is 1 is to 3. So, OB is to OD will also be 1 is to 3. Similarly, AF is to FD will also be 1 is to 3. So, if this is X, this is 3X. Similarly, in triangle DBC, in triangle DBC, can we say o, uh, OB is to OD is 1 is to 3. B is to EC will also be 1 is to 3. So, if this is Y, this will be 3Y. So, their bases will also be in the same ratio. So, OF, what we can say OF upon AB will be equal to 3X upon 4X, which is 3 by 4. Or we can say OF will be equal to 3 by 4 into AB, which is 4. That will give us 3 centimeter. Similarly, can we say OE upon CD? OE upon CD will be equal to this is Y, this whole is 4Y, which will be 1 by 4, or we can say OE will be equal to 1 by 4 into 12, which is again 3 centimeter. So, what do we want? We want FE, FE will be equal to OF plus OE which is equal to 3 plus 3, that is equal to 6 centimeter. Now remember, if ever you get this, that length of AB is A, length of DC is B, and EF is parallel to AB and DC such that it's going through the intersection of diagonals, then you can simply find FE will be equal to B upon a plus B into AB plus A upon A plus B into CD. This you can directly apply if length of these two sides are given. A and B are their ratio or actual value doesn't matter. So, B upon A plus B, see B is 3 here, this is 3 and this is 3 plus 1, 4. This is 1, 1 plus 3, 4 and into CD. You can directly use this and find the length of EF. Now, next question it says if D and E are the midpoints of the non parallel sides of the trapezium, then find the length of the D if parallel sides are 8 centimeter and 12 centimeter. So, again, we need to draw a trapezium, right? So, trapezium is A, B, C, D. And D and E are midpoints, right? D and E are midpoints. So, let's take this P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R and S. So, midpoint of this, midpoint of this, like this. Then find the length of D if parallel sides are 8. This is 8 and this is 12 centimeter. Now, think about this. If I join this line. Can I say this is midpoint and this line is also midpoint, this point E is also midpoint. So, this will also be midpoint of QS and so D will be parallel to SR. So, these two lines will be parallel to each other. Now, think about this. This is 8. The ratio is 1 is to 1. If this is 8, this will be just half of it. So, OD will be 4. Similarly, OE will be half of SR using the midpoint theorem. If this is 12, this will be 6. So, we can say DE will be equal to 4 plus 6 which is equal to 10 centimeter. Or you can directly remember this that if D is midpoint of PS, E is the midpoint of QR, then DE will be equal to half of sum of parallel sides, which is PQ plus SR. So, this is 12, this is 8, sum is 20, half of 20 
is 10. So our answer is option B. Right? Next question. A, B, C, D is a square. Area of triangle A, Q, B and triangle C, Q, E. A, Q, B, C, Q, E are 16 units and 9 units respectively. Find the area of the square A, B, C, D. <coughs> so ratio of area of these two triangles is nothing but 16 is to 9. These AB is parallel to EC. That makes these two triangles similar to each other. Because this angle will be equal to this angle. Vertical angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. This angle will also be equal to this angle. So these two triangles are similar to each other. Ratio of area is 16 into 9. Can we say ratio of side length will be 4 is to 3. So length of AB we can say it's 4x. Then length of this we can say will be 3x. Now one more thing. The ratio of height will also be in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Hey now, if this is 4x, we need to divide 4x into two parts which is 4 is to 3. So divide 4x by 7 parts. So it will be 4x by 7. So this length will be 16x upon 7. And this length will be 12x upon 7. 4 is to 3 ratio, right? Now, can we say what do we want is we want 16x square, area of the square. But <coughs> we know area of triangle AQP. Area of triangle AQP is equal to half of 4x into 16x by 7. This is equal to 16. 16, 16 cancelled out, we can say that x square is equal to, this will be 2 times cancelled out, x square is equal to 7 by 2. What we want? Area of the square A, B, C, D. Area of square A, B, C, D is 4x square, which is equal to 16x square. Now I can put the value of x square, which is 7 by 2. So this is 8 times, what do we get is 56 centimeter square. So an amazing question based on similarity of triangles involving a square, right? I hope you understood this solution and also the rest of them. <coughs> so thank you.